channel or welcome if you are new if you're new make sure you like comment subscribe turn the post notifications on join the family um so today i'm going to be taking you along with me for one of my shoots a lot of you have been asking like what it's like to be like an influencer a model blah 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 blah, blah. so i have a really cool shoot today and i want to take you with me i want to take you with me to it that first things first we got ready second things second we're going to Starbucks. You guys know me, Starbucks is secured, but I got a new drink and I'm trying egg bites because I'm starving and I haven't eaten anything and that's like the only thing with protein at Starbucks. But my mom put me onto this new drink. Oh, I hate when it comes all like messy. Chocolate, cold, chocolate cream. I think it's chocolate cream cold brew. So yummy and I think I like it because it actually keeps me awake. Like my other one was starting to put me asleep because it was just so much like sugar and milk. I was getting the white chocolate latte before, but the chocolate cream cold brew right now, I really like, and I'm probably gonna drink it a lot and then get sick of it. But yeah, it's super yum. And then I got, oh yeah, the egg bites. Let's taste test the egg bites because I've never, like these. Um. Oh, that's good. Spilling water all over myself this morning. Okay, egg bites. Not bad. Not like into them. I don't really like it that much. But I'll definitely eat it for the source of protein. I'm not like too against it. I don't know if that review made literally any sense. But also, muffin. My favorite. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. All right. I can't talk to you now because I'm going to eat and drive. Okay. I'm here. We're shoot. Tie me up, Maddie. Wait. There we go. <laughs> All right. We're at the shoot location. And it's super cool. Car, motorcycle, vintage vibe. I'm going to show you guys some parts of the shoot. Me, my bae. This is Mallory, she takes all my photos. This is Maddie. Hi, Bob. Oh, <laughs> I was like, where'd she go? Hi, she plans literally Hi, all of my shoots. <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. Second look, Maddie's vision was the Carl's Jr. ad. If you don't know it, I'm gonna pop up a picture right here so you can see how well I recreate it. And I'm about to eat Carl's Jr. for the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> Go. 
Okay, so we finally made it back home after a very long, very, very long shoot day. Usually, the way the rest of my day goes now is I took like a bunch of behind the scenes photos on my phone and video, and I like to go through those and delete the ugly ones pretty much. Um, so I just got like a bunch of cool pictures, which I'll be posting, and I like to sort them out by the time i hopped on here i have already made tiktoks for like the whole week like i like to make my content ahead of time because as a social media person in general like a content creator it's so hard to enjoy moments of life because you're always just so worried about creating content so something i have started doing recently that's worked for me is making a day for content maybe two days and just making content like all day it takes up the entire day i get ready i do a bunch of different outfits different places different videos that are trending and then I'm ready for the week I have them saved and I don't have to worry about it and I can put days aside to like enjoy my friends and actually enjoy being the age I am and like soaking up moments of life and not feeling pressured to get content so anyways my point of telling you that is that's part of my content day so today was my content day I did my OnlyFans shoot I came home I did some Instagram pictures I did some TikToks like four or five days worth of TikToks and now I'm pretty much gonna just like decompress, um, sort through all my stuff, and cuddle with my flu. But before I do that, I wanted to go a little bit deeper into what my OnlyFans is like, for those of you that are curious. Um, Cause I never really talk about it and I feel like it's like something a lot of people wonder. So, to start off, um, I wanna clarify that my OnlyFans is not just a like sexual place i have a lot of followers that follow me on other platforms that just like to talk to me and like show me things that they're doing or like they got a good grade in school or um like wrote something for me or drew me something whatever it might be like it can be completely normal yes there is like the 80 percent that is like over the top like more more like deep um and like different kinds of pictures and stuff i have a very good boundary for myself that i like to stick to um i clarify that on my account but pretty much my point of saying this is on OnlyFans, i have 25,000 people that like to interact with me on instagram i have 360 on youtube i have 120 so by only having 25,000, it's a lot more manageable to talk to everybody, get back to people, establish like one-on-one -on -one connections, like actually remember your name and like feel like I have like friendships with the people that follow me. And um, by doing that, it makes a lot of people super happy on my other platforms because I've talked to them, I know their mom's name, like random stuff like that. So they're more excited to follow me on like Instagram. That's the explanation for it. So my point of saying that is, it's not just sexual. If you wanna join and talk to me, like that's where I answer messages just because it makes more sense. Um, I also post a lot of pictures of my dog. I post a lot of random PG pictures that never make it to Instagram. Like just like cutesy stuff. Like a lot of YouTube behind the scenes that never make it. But that is like the PG level. Then you go more into it where I get like messages from people. So if we dive into messages, um, I get a lot of weird questions. I get a lot of weird questions, and they're not necessarily weird to everybody. They're weird to me because I don't have like fetishes and that kind of stuff. Like I'm pretty just like straight and narrow, but a lot of people do. So it's really interesting to see what people have to say. Okay, so the way OnlyFans works is you can buy mass messages. So I'll send out like photos I took like from today my shoot will go like mass messages 
you can buy those and you can talk to me about them if you just want to spend like limited amounts of money if you want to spend zero dollars you can just message me but because i have 25,000 people the people that do pay or tip obviously get priority because they're just putting more effort into me so it's like a give and take you put more effort into me i put more effort into you and i remember a lot of these people and their names are like at the top of my messages um so right now like like somebody just asked me naughtiest place you've done it on my messages i haven't answered them yet but that's just a place where you can answer those kinds of questions somebody just said good morning i just woke up because it's morning in england so it could just be like I want to talk to you because I'm lonely or I have an intense question for you. Um, I do a lot of fun things on here. I also collaborate with a lot of my friends. So we do a lot of fun pictures together. Here is like a couple of the PG ones I'm going to show you. And then there's just like deeper tiers that you can get of the photos that never ever are going to go on Instagram or YouTube. Only there. There's people that have fetishes like foot fetishes and they want pictures of my feet or the inside of my mouth or my armpits like weird random stuff like that that's not even sexual it's just like like the palms of my hands like people want to see like what does that look like like in between your toes like tickle your feet so I've made like some videos that are just like that of like random ass stuff or like someone wanted a video of me like laughing so I made a video of me laughing for like two minutes and sent it to them and that's just like it's fun because it's like funny these are things i've never done before like i have I've obviously laugh i've never sent a picture to like a video of me laughing to someone but it also made their day like that's what they wanted to see that made them happy we laughed about it together they follow me on stuff so it's just like so interesting to build connections with people like some people like want to pretend that there's something they're not like like royalty or like small or like giant or different genders I don't know people like a lot of different stuff so it's like I also take this as a learning platform for me because I get to like learn about what people are like like and thinking mind you there is the aspect of stuff like that I don't share because we also want to stay safe um there's a whole safety level to it I don't do like meetups I'm, I might do like a meet and greet thing sometime just because I think that's fun. I'd want to meet my fans, but obviously with security and stuff. So a lot of people ask to do meetups, but I don't do meetups because um, I like being alive. And you just don't know. I don't trust anybody enough online. There's too many catfish stories. So I did a live where you have to reach the tip goal for me to do something at the end. Um, something fun and throughout the whole thing was a Q&A so if you wanted me to answer a dirty question dirty question is anything that you wouldn't really feel comfortable telling like your grandma you know something random like that dirty question would be ten dollars and then like a random dare like like peanut butter off your finger would be like fifteen dollars um, so it's like a fun game and I did some of the questions I answered was do I like getting hickeys if so where that was so interesting What's my body count? Have you had sex in public? What's your biggest turn on in bed? Have you ever had a one night stand? Do I have fetishes? Giving or receiving? Um, and then the dares were like twerk. Can you lick peanut butter? Uh, say the naughtiest thing you did while you're in college. Did you ever hook up with someone in college? Like obviously, but like, you know, funny stuff like that. And I answered them all and everybody like, loved it so i think i'm gonna do another one like that um i also do pg versions of this all the time like on my instagram and i'll do like a q a on here i think youtube q a's are so fun but yeah so i usually answer those kinds of questions um just deal with like a lot of people that don't have friends and that are very lonely so it's nice that i get to be somebody's friend like i like making a change and a difference and so to be there for other people and make them feel happier and like they have somebody is important to me because I felt like lost a lot of times. You know, everyone just wants to feel loved. It's really all that this is about. So I like to have a very safe place. Obviously, you know, there are a lot of very, very rude messages and demeaning people. I would say of both genders um, that I get all the time, which I just... Like I said, I can't understand the hate. I can't understand the rude comment. I can't understand speaking to somebody in an aggressive way. It's I've had this happen my entire life. I grew up with this. Um, and I get a lot of mean messages. And I'm going to say, if you are mean to me, I don't answer you. You don't get anything from me. Um, I don't want to be your friend because I don't want to be friends with mean people. 
um, if you demand things from me, oh, it doesn't work like that either because it's my platform. You are here to message with me. I don't work for you. I'm here to be friendly and make friends and spread love. And if you're not doing that, you pretty much just get blocked. So people that waste their time messaging me and being rude or annoying or uh, demeaning me or the way I look, Yeah, that is pretty much how an OnlyFans works. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Maybe I'll make a part two of this video. Um, I'm gonna be posting the pictures and videos on my Instagrams and TikToks, so make sure you guys follow me there. Everything's so loud outside. I'm also really tired and really, really hungry, so I'm gonna go inside, eat some food, um, yeah, that was the day in the life of an OnlyFans slash Instagram slash whatever you want to call me, um, model, content creator. Let me know if you want to see more. Love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Check my description for the giveaway rules. I already sent out a letter this week, um, so check my community tab to see who the winner was. Um, and I want to send another one. So, love you guys. Thanks for watching.